years. On the night of the blood moon, a call is made to the list of Craig. dollars per calendar month. Cool gothic house, very cool, very gothic, in a good commuting area. Seriously, it's like 15 minutes on the bus to the center of the city. Applicants must be tidy, considerate, and virgins. Ideally. Ideally, virgins. I'm just saying that would be preferred. Oh, and werewolves need not apply. Oh, it's finished. Pretty cool advertisement, huh? It's pretty cool. I made it on Snapchat. Have you used Snapchat? Yes, no, I know that's... I know you've seen the advertisement. No, I know that's why you're here. You're keen to join our flatting situation. In this here flat and or house share. It's a pretty cool time here, you know. Just a bunch of cool vampires being cool guys. I like the company. I like this having a nice, cool time with my nice friends. Come, let me show you the flat. Come. You want by any chance wearing a crucifix? No, 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 good. Just checking, just wanted to make sure. Where's the accent from? The accent doesn't matter. Sorry, what were you saying? Nothing. Good. So this, this is uh, the kitchen. Nice candles and nice wallpaper. This is where we do our uh, dishes and have our flat meetings where we talk about uh, flat responsibilities. This here is a uh, chore wheel I made. You can see it's got everybody's names. Oh, do some ASMR like trendy young American YouTuber. Does that sound nice. This is like the 20th one because bloody uh, Vladislav has uh, eaten this one again so I'll be making another one. Vladislav is sort of like the bad boy of the group. Always doing crazy things, saying crazy things. He says he's a prince or something so that's pretty amazing. Then Jenny is the young, hip vampire who teaches us about technology. Just don't get her started on TikTok. I don't get it. Little Margaret Florence is very sweet. She is a nurse at the nearby hospital and makes sure we all have lots of blood. Nice, helpful vampire. Erasmus lives here too. Erasmus Lockhart. He's not trendy like me and you, you know, but he's good around the house, so yes, I like Erasmus. And Greta, uh, well, to be honest, Greta's a bit scary and a bit of a pervert, so maybe I uh, try to avoid Greta, actually. And my name's Drake, like cool, popular American singer, yes, 
pretty sweet as name for a sweet as guy. Everybody says this about me. Okay, let's keep moving. So the housemates are keen to uh, vet you to make sure that you're the right fit, the right uh, proportions. No, nothing weird. Don't worry, we just want to uh, make sure that you have a nice, enjoyable time. Vlad. Vladislav. Okay, okay. Shh. I'll see you at the end. My name is Vladislav. I am anonymous, like Stalin would share. Listen to the creatures of the night. They make such sweet music. They are my favorite band above all. Turkish death metal is severely underrated in this country. Would I like um, Girls Aloud too? And the R.E.M. Do you know what R.E.M. stands for? Oh. You will forget that I did not know what R.E.M. stands for. Do you know what R.E.M. stands for? Rapid Eye Movement. You see, I am well versed in the ways of popular contemporary music and the Michael Stein. Radislav, Radislav, Rada blah blah blah. All of their names are like so hard and in some like weird language. But anyway, he always tries to hang out with me. He thinks he's so cool, which is almost worse than just like owning your own age. Like, come on, buddy. Let me ask you one important question. Do you like to party? You do like to party. Just don't get too drunk too early and start garlicking people around the place, you know? Ugh, it's the worst when you see him try to make like a TikTok or like when he comes over and he tries to like dress like you or something. It's so weird. He's such a crybaby too, so you can't even tell him to like be himself or he'll get so sad. Though I will say he's a pretty good baker, which is like surprising. So you find yourself on the immortal never ending quest to find affordable accommodation within a cosmopolitan city. I feel your pain. Hundreds of years, days ago, I, a former crown prince of my homeland, of Turkmenuakadekadistan, found myself cast out of my sovereign territory. My Home. You see, where I am from, puff pastry is the most important thing, our primary export. And I suggested and decreed across my land that puff pastry should be folded no more than two times. I was cast out. Outcast, if you will. So yes, my friend, I know of your pain, the sorrow of being a nomad when you are very, very mad indeed. I'm not sure who you've met yet, but like the people in this flat are like ancient. If you're gonna live here, you just gotta be careful because, like, the people here will try to bring you down to their level. 
like Margaret, for example, I don't know if you've met her yet, but like she's okay and all, but she comes across like arrogant and she doesn't like my wardrobe, which hello, who doesn't like my wardrobe? Excuse me. Who might you be? Oh, you're the new one. Right. Good. I mean, do come in. Make yourself feel right at home. Mm -hmm. Make yourself feel nice and comfortable. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's lovely to make your acquaintance. My name is Margaret. To see yours. Ah, I see. Mm -hmm. And she keeps insisting that I wear this monstrosity of a jacket. I mean, look at these. What is this? Look at these sleeves. Who wears stuff like this? I'm not like a frilly pirate. Am I right? It's so weird. I don't know. I'm very old when I look at that. But then again, I am pretty old, technically. Girl, what are you saying? May I ask? It is of no consequence to me, of course, but some of my flatmates are superstitious. What is your blood type? Ah, uh, no, please, you misinterpret my interest in your blood type as some kind of xenophobic prejudice against my accent that perhaps I wish to drink your blood. When in actual fact, I use blood type much in the way of the horoscope. Also, I am attempting to naturalize myself to the local area. And therefore, it is expected that I use terms such as blood, geese, road man. I have been a man of the road for so long. And then there's Drake. Again, like, is his name really Drake? Or is he just calling himself Drake to sound hip like the singer? It's sad. I just try to do what he says and I don't talk to him. I am currently writing down a little shopping list, as they call it. Uh, this week it's my job to take care of the essentials, although I do not really understand why we need all these things. I mean, fake food. We don't eat food. Why would we need it? Every Sunday we have a roast. Because we do not necessarily eat food. Shh. We roast one another. Not physically over a spit or whatever, but metaphorically. We mock one another. The big one for me is when they say things like, nice turban. That is not what they mean. I am learning the ways of the sarcasm. People say one thing when they mean another. For me, a being of plain words. It is very confusing. We have soap. Well, fine, I guess, although we're technically dead, so... So much laundry detergent. Why? I mean, we... Ah, oh, okay. I was going to say, technically, if we died a long time ago and we all still wear what we were wearing before, I don't really see the need to... You know, if you only really have one or two outfits, but then... If we spill blood, I guess that doesn't make sense. Yeah, there's also Erasmus, Erasmus. I don't know, I just call them like thing one and thing two. I bid you welcome to my home, for I'm Dracula, Mr. Harker, and the night is cold and damp. Oh, who's that? I bid you welcome. Oh, it's just a new thing I've been trying, actually. Um, I read it in a book recently. Um, 
rather modern, but extremely good. Anyway, who are you? Oh, wait there. You must be this new housemate that Drake is trying to thrust upon us. Well, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Erasmus Lockhart. I'm originally from, uh, well, Europe. And what of you? Where are you from? Hmm, alas, I've not heard of that. But I'm very rarely outside in this fetid place. Oh, I do know that, actually. That makes sense, yes, I have actually. I actually have been there before. Foul place. Not like the old country. Oh, the old country. You had room to breathe there. The smell of greenwood trees. Jolly Cordwainers bartering of their shoes. Just in time for a castle ball. Oh. Wonderful. The children of the night. What sweet music they would make. He's okay. He kind of just like sits by himself and listens to classical music, which if you ask me is sad. This one here is a favorite of mine. It's um, Jimmy Shand. He's referred to as the pride of Scotland. Now Jimmy, he... um plays this remarkable, weird, strange, modern instrument, I'm not quite sure. But he, do, he does all the classics, um, like Miss Bennet's Jig, or the Threeth Castle Polka. So yes, I, I quite like Jimmy. It is what it is. I wish he would update his wardrobe, though. Like, come on, Grandpa. They don't even know what, like, social media is. I mean, hello? <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't trust anyone who doesn't know how to work like technology. I mean, my grandparents even have Facebook. It's so strange. I get with the times, Grandpa. Jeez. Have you met our fizz gig yet? Jenny? Oh, hardly a conversation goes by without emojis. Or some sort of strange modern vernacular. I'm afraid you'll find that completely inescapable. But I guess that might be one of the least of your worries. She's always desperately reaching for a simile that she can never find. And I was like, totally, and he was like, totally, and we were like, totally. Like, totally what? Like the first rains of spring? Like a moth to a flame? It's the rule of three. Like a ghastly rapid river through a pale door a hideous throng rush out forevermore and laugh but smile no more. And there's Greta. Have you met her yet? You'll know it's her when you meet her. Who dares disturb Greta's super? <laughs> New roommate. New roommate? What, we have a free room? An article on what? The list of Craig? What is this? Who is this Craig? Let's just say she's going through like a dry spell. <laughs> I just hope that she figures out her thirst soon, if you catch my drift. When I figure out who this Craig is, there's going to be words. They told you that you could have a room. Which room? That one. Unbelievable. You know, you know what? You provide for this family. You kill the previous owners. You steal the house. You freaking glamour everything we need and don't have to pay a bill. And yet here, they are giving away my personal archive. You know what? It's fine. I get no respect, clearly. It's because I am so old. 
as I keep getting told by that little... She really doesn't like young people. I think it's just because she can't figure out technology, like I've been saying. So hopefully she gets with the times before she hurts herself. I'm not saying it to be mean. She is ancient. I get very little respect around here. What, they're telling me I have to participate in the cleaning? I don't like cleaning. Cleaning is what you do when you're a peasant or a slave, not when you are 700-year-old royalty from somewhere you probably don't even remember. I'm fine, I'm fine. It's just, you know, sometimes you realize how truly, truly stupid future generations are that they forget to revere their past and you just feel like all of those hundreds of people I've slaughtered and raped were for what? Nothing. It's fine. It's fine. So, are you on the TikTok? I mean, what even is a TikTok? At first I thought it was some sort of a watch or something, but it is not a watch of that, I can assure you. So, like, have you ever made a TikTok? Do you have TikTok? Okay, look good. So, let me just get a quick look at you. Yeah, um, my hands are cold, like, they keep this black kind of chilly, so it's okay. Take a quick look at you. Okay. You have a good face. Hmm. And what do your, like, TikToks get you view-wise? Mm-hmm. So would you say you're, like, TikTok famous? Obsessed with this thing called TikTok. I don't even know what it is. They use it on their little squarey kind of device thingies that light up. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Okay. Oh god, let's see. Maybe you can like help me out. So let me just take a quick look at you. First we just need to kind of like update your look. You need to look more cool. I tried to do this for the... Just put these on you. There we go. I tried to help out the other flatmates and get them more appropriate wardrobes, but like they wouldn't listen to me. So, at least I'd have you and we'd be able to like actually get some stuff done around here, right? So, those look so good. Now let me just kind of take some quick measurements of you. Yeah, I hope you don't mind. I'm just trying to see how we could update your whole wardrobe and what I could use of you in my TikToks. Yeah, so much space you take. Okay, good. So you're not, like, too tall. So we could do the framing straight on, which is, like, perfect. We're pretty close in height. So this is already looking more promising. Are you good at, like, TikTok dances? Well, that's okay. I'm, like, really good, so I could teach you. I really don't like the TikTok. 
So, what? Anyway, if you think you can escape this type of annoyance, you're very, very sorely mistaken. What temperature do you shower at? It is important. There are two communal showers. The one shower I have set to the perfect temperature for me. And it must never be changed. 38 degrees. Not too hot, not too cold. Good on a warm day, fine on a cold day. If you are to move the dial, there will be grave consequences. And what did you think of our good Radisla? Hmm. I am somewhat of the same opinion as your good self. Quite the... Quite the edge he has to him. A um, interesting story about Reslav. And, uh, <laughs> he, he won't mind me telling you this, actually. It was uh, one time, <laughs> and he'll be fine with me saying this, but uh, one time when... Ah, no, no. I have crossed oceans of time to find rent within my budget and also to get out of the rent cycle when you have placed deposit on one house and you are waiting for the return of the deposit so that you can, in good faith, place the next deposit on the next house. That is why we do not ask for a deposit. However, due to local legislation, we must incur a small admin fee. How much rent did they ask you to pay? Yeah, that's a lot. Oh, but you are still here. <laughs> Not intimidated by a nominal administration fee, I see. Look into my eyes. What? is immortal as his rent. The taxman rises with the dead. Is there anyone you've told today that I don't know you're going to do a little house hunting, you thought you'd stop over and did, they, did anybody know where you are? More interesting. And, uh, is that person as friendly as you? Interesting. Oh, you have met Greta. Now there, there is a one who knows the old ways. There is a one who doesn't speak in emojis. She doesn't use emojis to express her emotions. Fairness, I'm not entirely sure she has emotions, but uh, she certainly wouldn't use to express them if she had to. Mm. Good old Greta. What I wouldn't do for a household of Gretas. Do you have many other friends that come around? And do they all like you very... Friendly looking. Hmm. I see. Are you feeling any bit of apprehension right now while I sit here in front of you salivating over your delectably smelling virgin of friendly blood? The next question is very, very important. Do you think you could 
get the spider that has been in my room for three days out. I don't want to hurt it, but I can't stand them. The spindly legs, it just hovers there, only moving when I turn away. And I know it has moved, because I look back and it has definitely moved across the room. It is very scary, a creature that moves only when you do not look. Of course we have some vetting processes in place when we have a new housemate. So let me ask you a few questions. What is your, what is your blood type? I see, and have you ever had any hematological issues? Allergies. No, 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 nothing like that. These questions are more as a precautionary thing. You know, we want to make sure if anything happens to you, which I'm sure it won't. Um, we have things in place to save you from said injuries or mistakes. Have you met Nurse Margaret? She keeps a log of these things. Delightful girl. It's rather nice to have uh, someone on the site who knows about these things. I do work in the uh, in the local hospital. Um, would you be a darling and pass me that little box there? Yeah, perfect. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, so essentially, um, what happens is um, some of the vampires in this house they're not too comfortable with the idea of killing a human, so I make sure we have enough blood in the house. So, occasionally when I go to work, I like to take some things with me, and then I will just simply say to the other nurses, I'll say, oh, I'm sorry, you don't know where that went. Maybe, you know, one of the nurses was particularly greedy or well, I don't know, that doesn't usually work but they're not too suspicious they're all very very tired and overworked of course they do a fantastic job but well, we need to do what we need to do. I mean, if the nurses are too annoying, it has happened that I've well, I might have killed two of them but it's a long time ago so, obviously due to my usually very pale appearance, I must lather on, <laughs> you know, I've had to, you know, shorten my teeth, so that was kind of a bit of a soul-drenching experience, but it's fine, I just drink my blood like a smoothie now, it's fine, <laughs> it's just a little inconvenient, but should be fine, yes? I'm sure. Uh, I was told these TikTok girls, whatever that means, they put a bit of blush on the end of their noses, but to be honest, I think it just makes me look rather sickly. Don't you think? This is a picture of me in my youth. I used to very much enjoy... <laughs> look how old-fashioned it is, but I used to very much enjoy they're all rough, but um, this had taken quite a long time ago, but um, yes, you can still see the similarity. All right, you have my approval for everything here, but first, before we go any further, it's important to me and my people that we have uncertain understanding, so I'm going to hypnotize you with this skull of the infant baby of my last cat. It's very precious to me. You want to give a little kiss? Just a little smooch and smooch. Oh, come on. Come on. Can you say no to this face? You cannot say no to this. You cannot say no to this face. Yes, that's right.
It's so sweet you are. You're playing with my little infant skull. Oh, so silly. Just focus on the skull. It goes back and forth and back. you're going to pay my share of the rent and the electricity yes that's right that's right you will pay my phone bill and you will make sure Take the laundry out of the washer, put into the dryer, not let it sit, okay? That's right. Anyone you catch doing that, you behead them. Alright. I think we've got you right where we want you to be. You remember? You got we pros now, right? Nudge, nudge. On your way out, could you uh, take that uh, laundry and, uh, you know, take it to the washer, please? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Starting to get a little bit stinky here. <sighs> anyway. Bat. Also, I have the power of telepathy. I cannot read minds. It only works one way for me. But I can project my voice into your mind like this. You can hear me talk into your mind. What do you think? It is rude, I know. Uh, yes, I should only do it with permission. You are right. Consent is sexy. I truly hope that you Decide that you want to move in with us here. It would mean the world to me to have someone so young and brave in the face of spiders. <sighs> Thank you for your consideration. Your blood smells sweet. I am sorry for that. Anyway, I shall keep you no longer. You have other housemates too. I'm sure you interact with and be delighted by. Especially Jenny. So, um, if you would leave me in peace, please. I'll probably see you again much sooner than you'd imagine. Shut the door on your way out. If, of course, you have any questions whatsoever, I will gladly answer them. But, uh, I've got to go, so, you know, you might want to ask somebody else, because I am quite busy right now, so, hurry up. You seem cool, so I'll tell Drake that, like, I approve, okay? Okay, but I expect to use you to help me with my TikTok fame. Cool. Later. Oh. Hello. 
good news. Everybody loved you. They think that you are perfect. The right size and the right shape, the right uh, proportions, eh? possibly uh, virginal. Uh, what did you think of uh, Erasmus? It's a nice, nice vampire, yes. And uh, Jenny, yes, likes the uh, TikTok, but I don't know the TikTok. I, I am more of a uh, Snapchat man uh, myself. Oh, I'm just, uh, I just don't like mess, you know, so I'm just laying out the newspaper so uh, it doesn't get messy and no clean up after. So you wanted to uh, move in next week, you said. Uh, yes, okay, Do, you can move in whenever you want, I guess. Oh, you want to uh, go overseas? Yes. Now that will be nice when you do that. Uh, okay. Well, it was uh, very nice to meet you. And uh, it is customary where we are from to have a bit of a uh, going for a bit of a uh, kiss on the on the neck. Yes, don't worry, don't worry. It's just a, it's just a little kiss. <coughs> oh God! Fucking shit! This is so much mess. I hit the main artery. <sighs> this is going to cost so much in dry cleaning bill. <sighs> oh, uh, thank you again for coming and uh, sleep well.